Great harmonic Greetings. Today I'm going to be talking about Cubecraft. Oh, and by the way, you know how I did those videos where uh, if I win, I get Legos? Well, I won. So I went into town and I bought myself a Lego. I'm going to check. I've checked the name of it and it's actually called the bakery because a lot of because the Lego sets of Minecraft that have come out this year are actually all pretty bad like they're actually decent sets some of them but just with bad price tags and I knew I wouldn't be really buying any of those so I bought some of the old ones before they came off the shelves and the thing that struck me as a little off was sets I remember I got in 2020-2021 still on the shelves like you know the OG one with the axolotls and the guardians uh, yeah that one's on shelves still one with the puffer fish that's still on shelves like the past waves seem to have all been so successful they're just still on shelves and it's it's nice uh but this is a sidetrack i'm talking about legos and legos make me happy i might talk about legos later in the video but not right now Oh no! Oh, but for every Lego brick, there's someone in Minecraft, Cubecraft, well not for every Lego brick. That was a bad thing. Uh, that was not, okay, you know what I mean. That was a bad comparison because there are loads of Lego bricks. Um, like, Loads, trillions. Not only got half of them. My room's filled with Lego. But luckily, I've had a wardrobe renovation, meaning with some physical loophole, I've actually got more space for Legos now, and more space for Minecraft Legos and Jurassic World Legos. Those are my two favorite themes. But I can't stop talking about Lego. So anyway, that was happy. Now I'm going to be talking about something sad, not happy. Hackers on Cubecraft Block Wars. It's absolutely horrible. I've seen some videos of eight-year-olds um, hacking and I'm like, bro, you are so bad. So like, if you ever see me just suddenly stand still, that's the keyboard acting up. But I've seen eight year olds online thinking it's cool to hack and it's funny when it's not. Like one time, just over there on this map, a hacker flew into the air and wrote rude words. Like out of blocks. And another time, there was a hacker that just kept on scoring because he was like flying. And I was like, what really is the point? Like, genuinely, tell me please do what the point is of hacking because yeah you win but you're just some new that can't play the game imagine not being able to play a game and having to resort to hacking it imagine because maybe on planet zoo hacks would be okay because it's planet zoo but if it's a competitive game with winning hacks aren't okay Actually, I take that back because on Planet Zoo, you can't really hack unless you're making some weird infinite zoo glitch. Oh, man, 
or plan to a hack would just be considered a mod, but you shouldn't be doing this kind of stuff on Cubecraft. And they really need to up their game with the anti-hack software because it's absolutely ruining it. Just gonna check the store. Yeah, yeah, perfectly fine. But I don't see the point. Sure, you win, but you know you'd feel a lot more satisfied with yourself if you won fair and square and in doing so you are I'm in a bit of a pickle here and if if you won fair and square wow I did it because it's going to survive if you won fair and square you'd be feeling good about yourself because you won you won and you'd be happy and you'd be laughing and you'd be all oh what a fabulous day i finally won cubecraft that's how i feel when i win but if you win just because you were hacking you say <laughs> i won but you don't feel any better about yourself you don't feel like you're improved technoblade rest in peace legend died i think a couple of months after my grandfather did but Technoblade, one of the greatest players of all time, did he use hacks? No. Well, like, maybe he did for a video once, but as a joke. And maybe he did on the SMP, like the Dream SMP, as part of a plot. But legends don't hack. Like me. I'm not saying I'm a legend, but I'm saying I don't hack. And because I'm not hacking, I actually have a shot at becoming the legend. But if I hack, I will never become a legend. I will just become a hacker. I will just become Herobrine. Because Herobrine isn't really the villain of Minecraft. First of all, he isn't even in the game. Second of all, he's a random creepypasta. But he's actually a good guy when you think about it because he's promoted the game a lot. Ah! No! But the real villain of Minecraft isn't Terrifying. The real villain is Hack. If you hack, you are ruining the game. I think some games hacking is just bad for yourself and some games it's impossible to hack and send like Planet Zoo. How do you hack Planet Zoo? Like you could hack onto the code and like give yourself unlimited money but why would you want to do that because there's unlimited money mode already or sandbox is what I play on all the time. But yeah, it's just a. Uh, why would you hack? Why? Tell me, tell me, tell me right now. Tell me. Hackers, are you watching this? Why do you hack? Oh, I know. It's because you're too rubbish at the game to play it the right way. To have fun. So. You, you'll you never be a Minecraft legend, you'll never be a good player, you'll never be a pro, you'll just be a cheater. Because say on Harman, oh rare in realm, imagine if I just used creative mode for everything, would I be getting better at the game? Sadly, while cheats aren't on and it ha never has been registered as on. On where it's well, I can't actually own achievements because I once did turn creative on, just not for that reason. Um, basically, my friend got stuck on the nether roof. I didn't know what to do, so I had to go to creative. 
and it still thinks that I've never activated cheats. Like, if I try and, um, because I, I did want to accidentally cheat, so like, I tried once and it said, are you sure? Basically, the thing that pops up when you've never cheated before, but I can't earn achievements. It might just be a glitch. It could be that maybe they've decided that on Wells getting achievements from other players is possible and just cheating. But I feel good when I do something on Wells as well because I did it fair and square. And you know what? Exploiting bugs, that isn't cheating. That's just exploiting a game mechanic that other developers, well, the developers, have put there and you can use is not cheating because other people have used it like right here i'm killing a guy fair and square Oh man, and I died fair and square. If I was a hacker, I could just fly up. I'd just kill them all, and it would all be just a straight victory for me. But oh no, 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 no. So yeah, what is the purpose of hacking? Second all. Cubecraft needs to up its game because I love Cubecraft Giga because it's such a giant fight. It's so amazing. But I don't think it's Giga enough. Sure, you get more blocks. There are more diamonds, more iron, more arrows, more of everything. But they should make um, it's so that Giga Block Wars lives up to Giga, that it's the supreme version of Block Wars. Okay, so hear me out of this one. What if in the middle of the arena, there was like a boss? Or there could be multiple roles? Not just soldiers, because you could assign walls to yourself. Like, oh, I'll protect the base, and I'll go rush diamonds, and I'll score. But you can't really have yet you in roles. No. So, what if you do have roles, and most of the players say like 49 out of 50 or like maybe three of them will be no basically say most of the players a, a big percentage is just normal like me you know they can get diamonds but they they won't really have any power set except for the ones they bestow upon themselves. But what if for every team there is one sacred guardian? Now basically, they are like a hacker, but not in a hacker. They could fly, but they could like shoot projectiles. However, the sacred guardian is just a guardian they cannot score they have to stay in their own team's side and score wait no not score they have to protect their pit or the flag and basically let's say that it can only be one at a time and they just shoot projectiles. But say the projectiles are really weak and slow. And 
I was thinking that maybe they'll have to spectate for a minute if they die, but that just won't be fun for the Sacred Guardian. So maybe there could be something else, or maybe if they, maybe they only have a certain amount of armor. Um, we need to protect our pit. Maybe they only have a certain amount of projectiles, and when they run out, they you know, like can't get any more. Well, not can't get any more, but like have a timeout. Like maybe you have sixty-four a minute, but no, uh, maybe sixty-four would be too much. Let's say ten a minute, but they're super OP. But they're also kind of slow. But like they're assigned to the pit or the flag, the scoring item. I know. Like they can kind of do what they are pleased with that power, but they're not allowed to score the other enemies, whatever. There could also be disasters that happen every 10 minutes, like giant storms, oh, man. say a boss spawning on each um, team's side, or like maybe an imposter or a virus, like not just one singular thing, but including stuff. That, uh, that would be like, really good. Maybe there could be other custom weapons. I still want it to have like the charm of being Minecraft Wars, but maybe some things that seem a bit like it's kind of a bit more modded, like maybe a diamond bow, or maybe some players could only have certain types of weapons like maybe you could decide a world that's like a potion master or maybe certain people could like spawn with diamond armor but for the thing that if they, yeah, not sure how, but like as long as it doesn't break the game completely. Also maybe there could be mounts you could use, I can fly and do stuff. Because what I want is I want Cubecraft to be the most famous Minecraft server. Because when you think about it, it's mostly PvP. But I think that Block Wars should be the main thing. And Block Wars Giga should stop being a bait game and start being a standard game. And maybe it should have its own section of the hub. And yeah, they also need to get better anti-hack systems, but that's just a bit of a vent. Maybe if like 
there could be a weapon that if you get a certain number of kills you gain a special ability for the rest of your time on that specific game like you know a specific round in the game because it could just randomly spawn once a team gets enough kills like if someone gets a certain item they could unleash the ender dragon on another team's base and it would really make a quest or into the whole thing. And I think Giga Block Wars should uh, partner up with Lego because I think a Lego set for Arena would be super cool. I know there have been Arena Lego sets. And maybe there could be a Herobrine like boss. But there is a lot of potential for Cubecraft Giga. Yeah. 